Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. To remove the grab handle pocket, take our plastic prying tool, you can get these from 1AAuto.com. And you go underneath, gently, and then kind of push it in and catch the metal tab and push it in and then up and should pull right out. You might need to do the same thing on this side, but sometimes it'll pop right up. There's two metal tabs there, it comes right out. And remove the Phillips head screw that's inside here using a Phillips head screwdriver. Open up this little cover here to get the screw that's behind it using a small flat bladed screwdriver. Just pop it open. There's a Phillips head screw in here. Remove that. Pop this cover off so you can actually go up here with the plastic prying tool and kind of pry it up. And it's going to pry off the bottom in the same way. And then it's going to pull out this way, unhook. Probably have to open up this lever. So you're unhooking it from there too. The door trim is clipped into the metal part of the door. So we're going to need to get in here and pull it from the clips. If you can't get your fingers underneath here, use a plastic prying tool. Wedge the plastic prying tool in between the plastic and the metal. Just kind of find your way in here. Slide it down. I like to start at the bottom. Use a plastic prying tool, a bigger one. Find your way underneath. out. Go on the edge. And then once you can get your hands in there, then you can start to pull out the rest of the clips. What's going to happen, it's going to lift up like this, and then the top of the door clips over the metal part and will lift it straight up. Now you need to unplug. This is the power window switch. So you're gonna have to reach under here. Find the lock, it's on this side. Push it in. Pull it out. Remove the inside door handle. There's a single 10 millimeter bolt here. Use our 10 millimeter socket extension and ratchet. Remove this bolt. Catch that self-tapping bolt. Put that aside. Push this back. So it will unhook from the door panel. It has these two hooks here. Now we can unclip. This is the lock cable, the white one, and the door pull handle is the green one. We'll start with the lock one. Put your finger and thumb like that and just pop it straight up. And then unhook it. The green one, do the same thing, pop it up, and then unhook it from the handle and take the handle out. To remove the vapor barrier, it's stuck on with this butyl tape here. It's sort of this black, gluey substance that's forever sticky. So you can peel it and then take a razor blade, and so you don't tear the plastic, you can cut the black butyl tape and then pull the plastic away and this stuff is so sticky that if you're careful you can reuse this vapor barrier without a problem you can stick it right back to this stuff so just go along the whole edge and do this 
just need to unplug the speaker, push in the lock, pull it out, and feed it through the opening in the tape. Feed it through the opening in the vapor barrier. And then continue peeling it. And down to the end. Doing my best to peel it off without totally destroying it. If it rips or tears a little bit, not really a big deal. It will re-stick to this stuff. And so just carefully put this aside somewhere where you can reuse it. I just turned the ignition on. I'm gonna put the window up slightly so we can remove it. So I'm just gonna plug the window switch back in. and then I'll unplug it. And I'll shut the ignition off. We need to loosen this run channel for the window. I'm gonna peel the weather stripping back. Just gently pull out. And there's a Phillips head screw in here. I'm gonna remove that. And put that aside. Remove this 10 millimeter bolt here using the 10 millimeter socket extension and ratchet. to not drop this bolt. Move this bolt down here, it's 10 millimeters. The run channel will become loose. To use our plastic prying tool, pry, the, pry this rubber out. down. Now we've got the run channel is loose. Get it loose from the quarter glass here. Pull the run channel out. As I lift it up and out, I'm feeding it off of the Run channel rubber, the run channel side, lift the glass up and kind of tilt it up. You're going to pull it out of the other run channel. At the same time, you have to, so we're sliding it off of this down here at the same time, lifting it and tilting it up and then guiding it out of the door panel. There's our window glass. Plug the window motor and push in the lock. Pull the connector out. It's four bolts. They're 10 millimeter. Use a 10 millimeter socket, extension, and ratchet. Start with the these three here and loosen this one last. This one we can just loosen, we don't have to remove it. Because the window motor and regulator is now hanging in the door. So you can reach in and lift it up and off and slide that out. And then just maneuver it out of the door opening here. I'm just gonna mark where this motor is with a marker. That way when I remove this motor, if it moves at all, I can set it back up in the same spot. There are three T25 Torx screws. Use the T25, T25 Torx bit to remove them. the window regulator from the motor. If it got moved, you can just set it up 
where it was and reinstall the motor. This part of the sprocket is going to go into this opening here. If this was a brand new motor, you would add some fresh white grease. We're, we're using the original one and it was working just fine, but we're just gonna show you anyways. Wipe my fingers off. So this part of the sprocket that sticks out will go into this opening here and you just line it up might have to do this a little bit, just like that. This motor turns one way and then turns the other to go up and down. I'm just gonna get these torque screws set up. Just gonna snug these up and feel them get tight. Just stop. You don't have to over tighten them. I'm gonna reinstall the window regulator. If you had replaced this window regulator, you make sure you install the 10 millimeter bolt here in this top corner because when you install it into the door, you feed it through the opening here. It allows you to hang it in place, so you can put this grommet in for the connector into the opening, and then we're gonna hang the window regulator in place. And it lets you hang it there so you can install the other bolts and not try to hold it. Might have to push it in, but it's at least held in place. these up till they're snug. Just make sure all four are tight. Plug the connector back in. It will click when it locks in place. The rear window is not bolted to the regulator. There's a single green square, I'll go down here. It's actually kind of hard to see, it's right behind here. So I've got it kind of, it will, it spins, which is good because as you put the glass down into the door, so you're going in like this and then it's catching the square and then it sits like this and then we'll reinstall the run channel on this side afterwards. I'm gonna carefully put the glass back in. It does have a curve to it, but the opening in the door is pretty big. All right, so this here is gonna go on to the square. Now the glass is on the regulator. It's still loose, so be careful. So I'm actually gonna push it up. I'm gonna push it into this run channel here. Just like that. Just gonna wipe some of the dirt out of the run channel here while I have it out. Have our run channel. This is the top and it kind of curves with the door, so that actually sits inside of there and is what this edge of the window rides up and down in. So this rubber run channel pushes into it. So I'm gonna get this started. It fits pretty loosely so it can slide, which it's gonna have to, to get it situated in here. I'll spray some glass cleaner on it. This'll help the glass slide in the run channel. And I have to lift this up. You might have to unpeel it up top so you can get high enough. 
guide it down over the glass. Push this in. Top. So I just maneuvered around and got the window into the channel. This needs to go down more. And then pushed up into place. Push this rubber up into place. You can use your plastic trim tools, push the rubber in. Now it needs to go up like that. I'm going to reinstall the small Phillips head screw at the top. Just go until it's just tight and then stop. And push the door gasket back in place. Reinstall this bolt here. Reinstall the lower one. Might have to go in with your one hand and move this over so it lines up. Get it started. Tighten it up. Plug the window back in and try it before we button this all back up. Lift it up. And we'll put it down. So that's good, we know it works. Now I can unplug this and finish putting the door back together. To reuse your vapor barrier, you can see that these two holes match up with these two holes here, and then these two holes here match up with these here. Don't worry about it if it's a little torn up. You can still use it. We're gonna guide these wires through this opening so we can get to them afterwards. And then these will go on the outside of it. I'm going to start it right here. I'll stick it right back into that butyl tape just push it right in all the way around. It should restick. This stuff's like super sticky. Those go on this side just like that. goes on much easier than taking it off. We'll reconnect the door handle. This white cable will go on the top. It's got these grooves that match these grooves over here. And we'll just hook this up. This is for the door lock. And then push it in place. And the one for the pull handle. and it hooks in and then push the green into there to lock it so it won't come out and get this lined up let's go out these two hooks here are going to hook into the panel just like that reinstall that self-tapping 10 millimeter screw get it lined up tight. There's our door handle. If one of your door clips stays stuck in the door, you take your clip puller tool and just put it in here, pop it out, 
We'll push that back into the door panel and reuse it. These clips sit in here just like this. So just find the one that's missing, put them back in place, just slide it in. Now we can reinstall the door panel. Plug in our window switch. Just goes up from the bottom. It's keyed, it only goes in one way. The lock is kind of facing the outside. It goes in, it will click when it locks in place. I lift up our door panel, the top is curved. It's gonna hang on the door panel just like that. So we'll start it up top. This doesn't matter if the window's up or down for this. It sits all the way down, because that should go over the pull handle freely. We'll get it lined up, start to push it back in on the clips. Install the Phillips head screw. Reinstall this trim cover. It does have a hook here, so it's gonna you have to lift out this handle and slide it in, and then kind of hook it. And then it's got these tabs on both top and bottom that will push in and over the plastic. Reinstall the screw. Oh, there we go. Push the door back in. Reinstall the little pull handle. There's an arrow. Points outwards. So when you flip it this way, the arrow will be pointing this way. Just push it right back into place. Now just use some glass cleaner and clean the windows. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.